this person named Euless came in, and he is Garlean. He is Team Garlic Bread, and he doesn't like us at all. But don't worry, I'm a friendly cat. You don't have to be that way, you know? I'm quite friendly. You really don't gotta be like that. And before we talk to Euless, um, well, we talked to Lucia. Before we talk to everyone, I want to hear everyone's opinions and conversations. I think they just started for us that it was Alice, Say, Alphanod, and me going to with Euless, which I found that to be a strange combination because I personally would have picked Maximus. Um, I would have picked Maximus um, and Yastola to come with me. I think they're better negotiators than the kids and me because we're honestly a terrible trio at times. <laughs> I worry they were not in the best state of mind to volunteer for this undertaking. But what's done is done. I know you will take care of them. And yourself as well, I trust. Yes, I will, Ishtola. Yes, I will. I know, I thought the same thing. This is why this decision to me is very interesting. I know, I know. This won't bring back Lysinia and her sister. Taking the same risks, making the same mistakes. It's possible, but better to, better to try than to give up. Every time. Alphanod? Perhaps it is unwise to volunteer for a mission so soon after the previous disaster. Nevertheless, I shall, I shall not squander this opportunity. Mm -mm -mm. Maxima? Euless Pernobanus. It's unusual for one so young to achieve such a high rank. Very unusual. His uniform identifies him as a member of the First Legion, which is uh, particularly a fierce reputation. Whoever his superior may be, I advise you to approach him with caution. He's a soldier, I'm assuming, under the capital? Okay. Serena? We captured the boy as, we, as he was about to make off with our food. He must be very hungry to take such risks. Maybe we should give him something to eat. Reward him for his boldness. Aw, you're so nice, Serena. I mean, yeah, they're hungry. They're probably starving at wherever their camps are. Arun Sena. They are. Resilient in the face of hardship. You as well. But good intentions and stubbornness and determination alone will not be enough to bring our mission to a successful conclusion. Be on your guard. <clears throat> Magni? I'm assuming you're the one who, got, who caught him. The lowly task of keeping watch, watch, keeping watching over provisions would not normally befit the sun. But these being unusual circumstances, I will let no man take that which is not, not by by rights theirs. Euless. Said your farewells, have you? I have, I guess. You will be received as invited guests, and so I urge you to observe proper social etiquette and conduct yourselves accordingly. Your safe return takes precedence above all else. Remember this. Thunker, in particular, will be buried sick if you're gone too long. May the Fury watch over and keep you. Thank you, Lucia. Let's go, Euless. Are you and the children ready? I will explain the route once we are outside your camp. If anyone attempts to follow us, we will judge it as an act of hostility. We will not hesitate to take appropriate measures. I would expect nothing less. Oh, that's Lucia. I would expect nothing less. You have our full cooperation. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? This way? Speak with Euless again to accompany him, so we're going this way. So Euless is probably gonna be a very stubborn character to deal with. He's not gonna like us. He's not- He already doesn't like anyone here right now. Alright, this is far enough. Listen carefully. We head over that hill, then follow the road until we reach the liminal station, uh, four. Right? Liminal Station 4. I uh, Roman, num Roman numerals. I can definitely remember them. Children in the lead. I want you where I could see you. We do have names, you know. I'm an I'm Alice, and he's Alphanod. And last but not least, there's Lanella. Lanella. Where have I heard that before? No matter. Alphanod and Alice will watch the road ahead while we bring up the rear. I wasn't lying about there being many dangers, so you you're to run, not saunter. Run towards the station. Even if you think about going for your weapon, the deal's off. Should any creatures bar the way, we go around them. Once you choose to part, Gilles will accompany you. Alpha and I'll say then. Okay, so we can't fight. Ready to make the dash for the station. 
So we can't fight at all then. Oh, oh, wait, 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 okay. I've been liking all these tag-along quest lines so far. They've been quite nice. I think it lets us bond with the characters more. It's giving us that opportunity, in my opinion. Okay, go around this way. Run. No matter what, run. It's supposed to be the road mention. If we follow this, it should lead us to the station. Not the easiest surface to run on. I'm wearing Uggs, y'all at least have boots. We better not draw attention. I think we're fine so far. Oh, 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 snap pieces don't draw attention. I was just falling behind them. Okay, we're, we're doing pretty good. I mean, it wasn't every- all the monsters were on the side, so we were fine. There we are. We're here, I- I think. It's something like the ones in Thanalan. They're colder and meaner. This is it. The first stop, that is. Oh. We're, I was like, that it? We're here? Good. Looks like your friends knew better than to follow us. Are these your headquarters? No. We're stopping here so I can check for pursuers. Since it appears you kept to your side of the bargain, we can carry on. Northern Station is Regular Domorum, one of the main residential areas, or at least it was. The afflicted roam the streets in packs. They'll tear us to shreds if we've been given the chance. Keep close, no wandering off, understood? You got it. I'm getting some items. I think that I got... The Last Bastion. Eulis knows only too well that danger lurks around every corner. From here we'll be heading northeast. Keeping to the left of the railway. While the route itself is straightforward, getting past the ho hordes see unseen is anything but. Keep your weapons at the ready. They would attack their own countrymen. Aye. They spare their own but slaughter the rest, without hesitation. Though we'll try to avoid detection, the chances of sneaking by completely unnoticed are slim at best. I will lead the way. But in the event we are seen, you're, you are to fight them off. Those two will follow us, provided they can refrain from drawing their weapons. While I doubt they'll be foolish enough to stab their guide in the back, I will not take that chance. With that said, let us proceed. No, 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 I don't even know where he went. Now there they are. Glory to God of them all, they say. All right, we got him. We must stay alert. God damn it, we're perfectly capable of holding our own. You're sorry, you guys are- I know you guys are, but baby, we, we, we can't let babies get a single scratch. I see why your comrades chose you, Eulis. Our cottage has, has a cure for the afflicted, or tempered as we call them. Your people would need would need to be taken into custody that we may administer the treatment, but they would eventually regain their sanity. Is that so? For all I know, your treatment would simply force them to forsake one master for another. As far as I and my legion are concerned, they're no longer a peeper. Pe peeper? <laughs> they're no longer a peeper. They're no longer a people. They're beyond saving. Those who fought, thought differently and tried to reason with them were butchered for their bleeding hearts. Come, we have to keep moving. Oh, there's more of them, Imperial. Okay. 
hate to watch you bear this burden alone. Aww. Dot dot dot, he's just quiet. He's like, ah, I don't know, why, why am I even? Looks like we're not being followed. We will continue onwards. Why are you snow- Why are you throwing snowballs at him? I meant what I said. Well, I meant what I said. These people deserve only death. I stayed my hand before only out of desire to remain undiscovered. And that is still the higher priority. We should continue to avoid any unnecessary confrontations. Keep following the railway. I don't think they deserve death, though. I understand- I mean, not understand- I don't even understand why he's doing this. I get self-defense, like, don't get me wrong. Self-defense, self obviously, if they're about to stab you, then you don't wanna- you, you wanna, like, protect yourself, that's fine. But, like... These guys are not even in the right state of mind. It's so hard. Like, yeah, if they're trying to kill you, you can defend yourself, but... Their- their innocence that were unfortunately, like, tempered. The towers messed with them. And they became the way they are because of the tower. It's so unfortunate, though. Look at what they have become. Would you still stand there and claim that they could be cured? There is a chance. Those exposed to a vast quantity of primal's aether may suffer severe corruption. Even with treatment, such as victims are beyond salvation. Then you admit it. Now that you've seen these monstrous monstrosities for yourself, perhaps you will think twice before speaking of a cure. But there- we'd like to have- we would like to have hope, like- Also, there's an Aether right here. Oh, where? Though I wish there was another way, I thank you for keeping us from harm. Even here on the outskirts, it's plain to see how vastly different Garlemald is compared to other cities. We're almost there. You have kept your side of the agreement, so I will keep mine this way. Go this way around. It's so empty. No people here. So weird. Oh, it's probably they're probably all underground. That's pro that's why. This is the tertium, tertium one of Garlemald's largest largest stations. Now serves as our headquarters. I've already sent the twins ahead. I will be with you soon. So wait for me at the bottom of the stairs. Aye aye, Captain. Okay. It's time underground. I'm just skipping this one. Oh, actually. Oh, is this your first time in the underground station? They're all over Garlemald. Even during severe blizzards, we could use them to travel from one end to the, of the city to the other. Back when they were still in the operation, that is. I see. Alright. I have Theodora. Who the heck is Theodora? Okay, don't talk to me. She clearly- oh, wait, what? She clearly has no intention of speaking to you. Okay, fair. Y'all don't like me. I, I forget that y'all don't like me. Alright. Alright, we're gonna go down this way. This is... It's very... Before I enter... This place is very, very silent. No OSTs or anything playing. Which is fitting for the location we're heading to. Very fitting. Very cold. No one wants to talk to me. So they've been living underground. Fair. Probably wa it's warmer under here. Hmm. Ooh, this is spooky. Oh, I think I can hear the radio from the distance. If you guys are wearing earphones, you'll probably hear it better. Um. Oh, I can hear it. Oh, I can hear that. Oh, I hear it good. It's that darn radio again playing that same old song. There it is. The various lo-fi beats. There it is. Also, thank you to Cadence for giving that. Now I can't stop saying it. The radio song is so eerie, right? Right, right? Oh, God. The atmosphere building is great. Very well done. Very, very well done. I love it. Every time that darn radio plays... Oh, Aether is not responding. 
Oh god, I agree. Varus' lo-fi beats to die. <laughs> die of frostbite too. <laughs> no, I shouldn't be laughing at that. Don't make me- I'm gonna be so evil. Don't make me laugh at that. There's people suffering here. <laughs> there are people suffering. I wonder what their interiors look like, because it feels like we're not gonna- Okay, it's wood. Warm. This is a whole subway. Oh, this is an underground subway. This is a subway. Oh, I'm so sorry. These are people suffering. I should really shouldn't be saying anything, but these are people suffering. It's plain to see why they chose this as their base of operations. They could have done a lot worse. Even so, I imagine it's not the easiest place to live. Indeed. If Eulis is willing to make the perilous journey to Camp Broken Glass in search of food, their own supplies must be, out, must be all but exhausted. They may be shielded from the wind and snow, but it's very bitterly cold. Much like Victor's spoils, it must be constant struggle to keep their people warm. Lower your voices. While you may be here as my guests, the others will not take kindly to your presence. My commander is in the locomotive over there. Hmm. If there's an Aether right here, this must be a spot we'll come to a bit a lot. Imposing commander. That's a fine beard you got there. And that's a mighty beard you got there, sir. Now comes the true test. He certainly looks the part. I agree, Alice. 100%. He definitely looks like he plays the part. I will deal with you in a moment. These are their chosen representatives. Very well. Let us hear what they have to say. Yes, sir. I present to you our commander, Lord Quintus Van Kena, Legatus of the First Legion. Quintus Van Kena. The First? I had no idea you had survived. The fur... Okay, wait. We lost our emperor, our city, more than half our troops. For my wounds, I may never take the field again. But we survived, I. Before I continue... Uh, the First Legion... Any mentionings of them before we got here? I just want to understand. I don't want to just sit here confused watching this cutscene. And why Alphanod said, how'd you guys survive? I just want to like properly understand before we continue. Go, he really said, I thought you kicked the bucket. <laughs> In a kindest way possible. I thought you, I thought you freaking needed. Why, what you still doing here? <laughs> All right, Let, let's see, let's see. All right, so if no mentionings of it, then I'll just try to like understand it the best I can then. In a manner much to your liking, I dare say. We have no intention of adding to your misfortunes, nor do we bear you any ill will. Spare me, though you children may speak in earnest. Overtures of peace ever ring hollow in my ears. So long as man stands to profit from his neighbor's suffering, war is inevitable. I don't think... I don't even blame his mindset, you know? They're like captains for the military. Thank you, Spaghetti, thank you. Yeah, I know they're like captains, they're big deal, obviously. But I just saw, it always sounds like they're like mentioned them before, like this started, and I always get a little confused, that's all. But um, I don't blame their mindset. It's so sad to live a life through war though, so sad. 
driven from our ancestral homeland into this blasted waste. Yet still you yearned to rob us of our paltry scraps. It was only with Magitek that you learned to keep your distance. Though we knew it was only a matter of time before you regrouped and returned. Conquest and Empire were our only defenses. Emperors Solus and Varys understood this, and through their campaigns saw us grow and prosper. Much blood has been spilled in Garlemald's name, aye. But if it is a choice between yours and mine, then it is hardly a choice at all. I do not deny that a great many conflicts throughout history were driven by the desire or necessity to gain by another's loss. I want to reread that. That is not why we are here. Wait, I do not deny that a great many conflicts throughout history are driven by desire or necessity to gain by another's loss. Yes, okay. So yeah, he acknowledges the fact that, like, he has the right to be upset about that, like, to have that mindset. But that is true. We're, that's not what we're here for. We, we genuinely want to help you guys. We want your people to not suffer. Nor have we come to petition your aid in the war with the Telophoroi, grave though that threat may be. Our purpose is simply this. We wish to help you. Let us help you. If there is aught that can be done to ease your plight, we would be glad to do it. Perhaps you would. But regardless of the ideals you espouse, your leaders would not send an army into Garlemald if they did not stand to benefit. We okay. We always keep arguing this point. It's such. A, it keeps going back and forth. Like we obviously genuinely want to help. We don't want anything. We just wanted them to not see these people suffer. But I also get how why they're so stubborn. Like you can't. You have the right to be that afraid that people can just take over if that happens. But man, I just wish. <sighs> when it comes to a point like this, it, to me, it's like you got to put your pride aside. At that point, you got to like. You can't just be that prideful, your people are dying. If we accept their aid, they will expect their efforts to be rewarded once the Telophoroi are no longer a threat. We don't want anything. But after compensation and concessions, the great empire would be brought to heel. Her enemies rejoice at her downfall. Our third eye, a mark of shame. A compensation concession, the great empire would be brought to heel. Oh my god, this is just pride talk to me. This is all pride talk to me. Your pride is not more uh, more important than a human life to me. I, I'm sorry, no matter what, your pride is not that important to me. Um, so stubborn, but they clearly see their people are hurting. Yes, times of war can be hard to trust people. It's sad. Agreed, agreed. Uh, very much agreed. Yes. That's the thing. I can't, like, I don't blame their stubbornness and their fears, but at the same time, your people are in so much pain right now. What can, do you want to see them suffer, your people? This part frustrated me so bad, right? The, the biggest topic bring, they bring up here, and we're not going to get, like, as Cadence mentioned before in the last stream, we're not going to get too political about this, and we're not going to relate this to real life too much. We're just going to talk about the situation here and what I think about it. Um,. Just, it is the main thing that keeps happening, the main theme they keep showing. The people here would choose their pride over their own lives, and it's like, no, you're- Please value your life much more than that, please. We won't stand idly by and let your people be humiliated. And we're not alone in that. We only want to make a difference, to make this world of ours better. Surely you can understand that. What I'm trying to say is, there are so, so many people who just don't care about making you suffer. And maybe that's almost insulting after all the suffering you feel the world has subjected your people to, but... Believe it or not, that's the truth. And now we're here, and all we're asking is for you to tell us what you want, what you hope for. So much blood has been shed, so much lost, all because of this endless war. Who wouldn't want to end it? Can we not work together to face our problems as one? Our 
Answer me this, young peacemakers. Okay. If a world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? Um, okay, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? The world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity? Um, that is true. Mm, I think there was reasonings for that, but we're at the moment that's not the issue we're going to focus on, but we have a feeling... Is it because we do not share your faith? Oh... There are things you guys have done that is are, that we cannot agree to, but at the moment our focus is not that. Our focus is, is to ease... Literally the world is about to end. <laughs> the world is gonna end, and we just want to help. That our ideals and virtues differ. <laughs> that we cherish and hold in the highest that which you do not. And I keep, because it's so good, I keep trying to like reread it in my head so I properly understand what the heck is going on, what their perspective is. What our ideals and virtues differ, that we cherish and hold the highest that which you do not. The highest that which you, that your ideals and virtues cherish so. Mm -hmm. Disparity is the root of discord, and peace built on compromise is flawed and fleeting. Happiness for one and all is a dream, and the reality is that to the victor go the spoils. I use a lot of big words, and my, my whittled brain sometimes does not keep up, so that's why I have to keep rereading to understand. Disparity is the root of discord, and the peace built on compromise is flawed and fleeting. Happiness for one and all is a dream, and the reality is that the two. Oh, no! I get what you're saying, but this is. We're not competing right now! Please! Your competition! Your pride! No, this is frustrating to me! Can. Sometimes. I always say this. A lot of times we people make the simplest things so complicated. The solution is always so simple. But we make things way too complicated than it should be. This is why we're human beings are, are dum dums. This is why we're dum dums. That is why we Garlians will never submit nor surrender. For freedom <laughs> and for pride, we will remain true to ourselves. You said it yourself. Until the bitter end. For you said it yourself. That is my hope. For you for freedom and for pride, Mister. We will. Oh my God. My God. Yeah, me too, Alphanod. I'm out here doing the Arthur meme. It seems there is nothing more to say on the matter. What? Hey now, hey now, we'll, we'll walk out ourselves. You don't gotta- we Okay. Okay. You will remain here while I decide what is to be done with you. What? Do not be alarmed. No harm will come to you. If you cooperate. We literally- Oh man. <clears throat> we will not resist. However, as your guests, I ask that we be allowed to speak with the other members of your group. As you wish. I had no intention of locking you up, as by dawn you would be frozen stiff and you're no good to me dead. You are free to move about the encampment. But there is one condition. Collar them. Collar? Oh, they're just babies, though. What are these? I'm assuming... I have a feeling... Incentive. It... You'll be watched at all times. Stray too far or act suspiciously, oh. and we will administer a rather painful shock. A shock to the neck. Oh, that's going to hurt real bad. Not to them. I won't let that happen to them. Stop. Keep away from that one. Oh. Yeah, don't, 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 don't try the me. The champion of Eorzea is not so easily cowed. Mm -hmm. 
Even if she allowed herself to be collared, the shock would be no more than an itch. No. If she refuses to obey, we will activate the twins' restraints instead. Okay, very fair, very smart. I would absolutely... <laughs> very fair and smart, because I would go feral if you hurt the twins. I would absolutely go feral. No one hurts the twins. Not on my watch. You needn't worry about us. Y you guys are too small to be saying we'll forget that. We're even wearing them soon enough. Even now, you still... Why go to such lengths? What is it all for? Well, if you weren't so stuck in your head, it's just for... It's just the humane thing to do. Help. I'm getting all pumped up over this. <laughs> I really shouldn't be getting so pumped up, but I'm getting so pumped up. Because even the most bitter adversary may one, may one day see reason. When the coldest blackest of nice, meager though it may be, we must share the warmth of our fire. I love that. I love that one. That one was a very well set. I love that. Oh! <gasps> Wait, was that Harshafon's quote? You are a curious one. A far cry from the merciless barbarian others paint you to be. Was that Harchi's quote and I didn't even know that was? I didn't know that. I had no idea that was his, was that his quote? If I picked the other one, would that just be someone else who shows up? No? Okay. I don't know why they flash back to Harshi, you just thought of him. Well, I mean, I think Harshi would say the same thing. I think Harshi would say that. You will be their warden. Take them away. <sighs> yes, sir. Man. Wait, so what if I actually like left? I'm just, I'm curious. What if I actually like left straight up? Would, would they start getting shock? If, did they animate that far? I'm curious. It will take more than a trifle such as such as this to deter us. Compared to what Garlemald's people have suffered in recent days, these callers are minor inconvenience. I have to remind myself not to touch it. Even if it starts to itch, I'd rather not set off set it off by accident. Anyway, enough about that. Let's learn what we can from the refugees. What are you doing? Well, okay, I will let Lucy do whatever Lucy wants. Um. Okay, I'm thinking him all the time. Doesn't show up. Everyone's cutscene. Where is he? Well, would it make you come back? If the- if the- obviously- I, first of all, I was just curious if like 14 added some sort of function if I like ran out that it would like legit shock them. I was just curious if they did that. Like in some games they would add that little, um, thing. But I-, I like actually in this situation I wouldn't even leave their side. Okay, Euless, let's see what you're gonna- Personae non grate- wait, how do you pronounce that? Persone non gratte. You listen his orders, present, pre pleasant though they may be. As per Lord Quintus' instructions, I am to supervise you during your time in Tertium. Before you ask, no, I don't have a key or any other means to remove your collars. Nor would I tell you if I did. And if you try anything, you'll soon wish you hadn't. So do you truly intend to speak with others, or was, it, was that merely a ruse? We're in no hurry to disobey, disobey Lord Quintus, if that's what you mean. Or perhaps you doubt the wisdom of his, of his decision. Of his decision. Oh my God, words. Well, if you teleport to Limsa, how would they know you'll come back? That's a good point. That's a fair point. Do as you will, but remember, I'll be watching. If I catch a wind of you doing anything outward, try to trick our people to turning their coats and the like. Those shock collars will be the least of your worries. Understood. 
though we are somewhat compromised, like to put it, uh, though we are somewhat compromised, to put it lightly, let's not waste this opportunity. I suggest the splitting up and learning what we can of the situation. And above all else, don't use magics of any sort. You, on the other hand, may go wheresoever you wish, even outside the camp. I know full well I couldn't stop you if you tried. But do not forget, if you do anything to endanger us or our interests, Alphanon and Alice will pay the price. Ah, they, so they did make it easier on themselves. Okay, so they made it easier on themselves and made it fit to the game logic, the story logic. Queso. Queso? You came with Eulis, didn't you? Oh, whatever business brought you here, you best keep your hands off that Aetherite. Right. It's deactivated, but I'd rather you didn't mess about with it. There are others throughout the, throughout the city built by Garleans. Four Garleans. Could teleport all over in the blink of eye. Provided there was a terminal was a terminal nearby. These days, however, we use the Aetherite's power to keep its place lit. Though that comes at the cost of its normal function. I see. Sabinus. So, so cold. Young soldiers on the verge of losing consciousness. No. These people are dying. My god, that's the radio again. The radio is the same model as the one used at Victor Spoils. Perhaps it is what saved the soldiers here from being tempered. Oh, so maybe it is this radio that's helping them. The technology they got here is helping them out. These people are suffering, bro. Alice, So cold. Probably hasn't had a proper meal in days. Well, only we brought some food with us. Perhaps I could use a little magic too. No, I mustn't. God's is frustrating. There are what we may, may do to ease your woes. Hmm. Marcellinus. You know who you are. So called champion of Eorzea. I know who you are. The so called champion of Eosia. Come to gloat, have you? I'll wipe that smirk off your face by the blood of our fallen compatriots. I swear I'll. Uh. Oh, you can't. Damn. Tore the suitors. Of all times, the worst of lot of lot with, with its striking distance, I can't even muster the strength. If it weren't for the, the third bleeding us, we'd be the end of you. Regilia's treachery nearly cost Lord Quintus his life, but we made our escape, took shelter in a mansion, tended the wounded as we prepared to strike back, and then... Night fell and we gathered around the radio. Then the roar. The terrible roar. The capital was in chaos, but we were, we were spared. We call this a mercy, mind intact, but body broken, a soldier in name alone. I'd cut you down where you stand if I could. Murderer. Murderer. That is what I am to these people. It's you, Lenella Waka. I, I served under Lord Gaius in the, in the 14th Legion. I was there on the night of the Praetorium fell. You and your adventurers, you killed them. My comrades, my friends, swept them aside in their dozens as though they were nothing to you. And maybe I am too. Just another faceless enemy to be cut down. But it won't be long until a countryman return. Till you get what you deserve. Mark my words. Hmm. Now that you think about it, when you're running Praetorium... You are kind of mindless to killing these soldiers. But then again, at that time, it was what we had to do, because Gaius would have, you know, taken over the world at that time, but we had to defeat him. Not taken over the world, but he was going to take over, like, Gridania and all the main areas we were in in ARR. Did you learn of any anything of note? Then your findings are consistent with my own. Their plight is desperate indeed. The sick and injured are the greatest risk. Without warmth and proper nutrition, I fear they will soon perish. I realize there is a precious little we can do for them at present, but I cannot bear to see them suffer. Please, will you help me tend to them? Of course. Oh. 
Oh god. Please be okay. Who's there? My eyes, they... I can't see all that well. Ah, uh, thank you. The numbness has subsided a little. But I know, it won't, I won't last much longer. You should look to the others who can still fight. Give them my ration. If me going hungry means someone else lives to see another day, so be it. Unless it can still serve in that way. It's so hard for me to, like, say things at times in a situation like this. So hard to like. Are you just taking a nap? They are indeed taking a nap. So those you met fare no better. I was afraid you would say that. I know we were warned against meddling in their affairs, but we can't leave them like this. Perhaps we might gain permission to have the contract deliver supplies. Quintus may have made his feelings on the matter quite clear, but even he must recognize they are not in position to refuse help. Maybe Eulus could persuade him, though we'll need to persuade Eulus first. Well, back to Eulus we go. Where do I touch the Aetherite? No one says anything. I just don't like- I know that's like an extra thing they would add, but like some random interactions if I messed around would be funny. Well, seen enough? Eulus, the people here have barely enough food and fuel to survive. Have you and the other soldiers been able to procure any more supplies? We've been scavenging provisions from the nearby houses, as most families keep kept rather some stored away in the event they were snowed in. Still going out and getting it still, going out and getting it is dangerous work. We have lots of mouths to feed. Fuel is greater concern though. We had some ceruleum set aside until it was stolen. We haven't identified the culprit. Could have been other refugees, or one of the afflicted for all we know. Either way, we are down to the last dregs. Without the heating they need, those in poor health are only going to get worse instead of better. If it's ceruleum you need, our contingent has secured a ready supply. We can ha have some sent over. We will not accept your charity. If we can hold on a little longer, the situation is sure to change. Aye. Everything will change. One of your comrades mentioned something along those lines. Those mysterious countrymen of, of yours, I assume? Don't remember this one, so I'm gonna just say one of the comrades. They did mention that. Heard something of it, have you? Well, from what I've seen, there's little you could do to interfere, so there's no harm in telling you. One of our scouts spotted a hooded man issuing instructions to the afflicted, or in the bastard's words. Loyal servants of the Telephoroi. Then he made his way inside the Imperial Palace, or what stands in its place. We'd identified the seat of the enemy's power, we realized. Lord Quintus dispatched a messenger to the Tenth Legion, saying as much, and instructing them to join forces of the Provincial, provincial Legions to prepare for a combined assault on the Telephoroi. Once our allies arrive, your continent will be sent running for the hills. Then we shall reclaim the capital by our own hand. How do you intend to survive in the meantime? At this rate, many of your countrymen will perish long before reinforcements can reach Garlemald. They need help now. Say the word and we will bring you the Ceruleum. I will speak with Lord Qu- Oh! Did that really convince him? Did that really convince him? I'm surprised that did. Well said, Alphanod. Well said. So, did he agree to it? Oh my god, he's so stubborn! No, he will not place Garlemald in de debt of her enemies. I have, however, have been ordered to search his ruling outside. As you are under my watch, he will come with me. Very well. After all, my hands make light work. <sighs> you lot are more trouble than you're worth. Once we are outside, we will follow my instructions to the letter. We depart shortly.
I can feel so much frustration, y'all. So much. But I will not let it get to me. Without our healing magics, there's little we can do for these people beyond off offer words of encouragement. With this, I will be able to offer them tangible assistance. Though this is hardly the solution we had in mind, it will have to suffice for the time being. Better than watching them suffer, frankly. His park materials. Eulis finds herself in a somewhat bizarre position of leading ambassadors of an enemy contingent on a salvage mis mission. We will begin our search for Ceruleum in Regio Orbasia. The first location of the is Forum Solius, a park to the northwest of the station. You are to remain close at all times and act only as ordered. Follow me. <laughs> we will break the old man soon enough. For some people, though, even talking won't do anything. Even proving ourselves won't do anything. And some people are so stubborn to the boot that, like, even when the hard way happens and, like, your people are just yeeting, it's just, like, it's just not gonna work. They're just that stubborn to the boon. It's just insane to me. Ow. I'm okay. I'm okay. <clears throat> to think this macrobit graveyard for a war Mach machina was a park, once a park. This is a park? Uh, quite nice. Very nice. 10 out of 10. This is the place. So this is the park. I'm as surprised they found a space for they found space for one amongst all these buildings. Actually, the recreational areas came first. The houses were later built around them. A healthy society requires communal spaces for children to play, and adults to socialize. This park was named after founding father of the empire, the great Solas Dos Galvis. Did we come to extract Cerulean for the record ma Magitek armor? No, we already drained it dry. Same goes with the rest of the Machina in the vicinity. But, at, but as the Ceruleum has been stolen, we must scour the city for every last drop. And while I don't expect to find anything here, I decided to try one more time in case something has been overlooked. I see. Then with your permission, we, can, we will commence search. You know, what if we, like, I was thinking about this, what if we, like, secretly brought some <laughs> from the camp and, like, poured it into Magitek and be like, Hey, there were some left! Look, Ceruleum! Oh, wow! Shop counter. This is a shop counter? They're rather small by Garlean standards. The structure is reminiscent of a merchant's stall. Perhaps it was built for children to play chat. That's- I was like, I was like, this is way too small to be an actual shopkeeper place. There's nothing inside resembling Magitek or any other devices that would be fueled by Ceruleum. I was like, kids probably played around here. Oh look, a snowman! I stole their snow. A war machina wreckage. Cursory inspection of the record Magitek armor confirms that the fuel canisters have long since been drained of Cerulean, as Yula said. As expected. You know, this area kind of slightly reminds me of Near Automata. If those of you have, if you have played it, I know it doesn't look anything exact. It doesn't look exactly like it, but just how torn down. Actually, no, 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 no. More than Automata, Near Replicant or Near. The original is what it reminds me of. This is whatever it is, appears to have some sort of symbolic meaning relating to this park. Even though the place is named after Solus, there doesn't seem to be a statue of him. Or at least not anymore. Maybe it was once a fountain, or somewhere the man himself used to sit. Not that it would matter, even if we knew, but I can't help wondering. Actually, it does remind me of Automata. Children slide. Dang, everything here is made out of metal. 
The contraption is built in the style of Imperial War Machina, armed with a battery of weapons capable of transforming to different configurations, but on closer inspections, it used to be no more than a children's slide. I was like, what? It's just a slide. A four-way slide? No, a three-way slide. A little lake. Oh. Yulis ignores you as he stares at the water in silence, as a searching for something he knows is gone and will never return. Your childhood? I'm assuming? Hmm. But yeah, it kind of reminds me of Nier Replicant a lot more, the original Nier. Very fitting. I don't imagine there would be much in need for magic taken in a park of places. But then again, I wasn't raised in Garlemald. They made it, they have uses for Cerulean that I have yet to consider. Where else around did I miss? Sometimes looking from above will help you find it. Like that! There we go. <clears throat> Several points of interest are marked on the map of Forum Solus. Solus. Solus, sorry. The pawn, children play areas. To your knowledge, however, none would require the use of Cerulean. So no luck here. The music is so quiet and calm. Oh, it's you. Any luck? <clears throat> There's no sign of any ceruleum. Hmm. Hardly surprising, but disappoints nonetheless. I couldn't help noticing you gaze at the pond. Is something the matter? What? Yes, I, I mean, no, I'm... I just... used to bring my brother and sisters here to play. The pond was heated to stop it from freezing over. So I had, like other children, they just had to wait and, spl and splash about. Would have stayed in there if they didn't drag them out. We'd be st stopping wet when all was said and done, every time. I thought so. I assume so, it was his childhood. And every time, when we get home, Mother would scold us, saying we'd catch our death walking around like that. The pond was heated. Would Cerulean powered heater, by chance? Suppose it must have been. Come to think of it, I remember seeing engineers training a tank beneath the beneath the hatch. But that was a long time ago, when the water still flo still flowed clear and wasn't this brackish muck. I can't see a thing, and I can't remember where the hatch might be. With the machinery most likely broken, the amount of filth in there is probably the only reason it hasn't frozen over. I'd wager it's still unbearably cold, though. Eulis, what are your thoughts on magic? The average garland would jump out of their skin if they saw it, but the first is a few foreign signifera in Medici, so it doesn't scare me. Then I'll take you won't mind if I employ a little now. Alphanod, as you have the knack for finding dry wood, why don't you bring me some? Once that's done, a blast of werefire should do the trick. Leave it to me. You're not planning to go in there, are you? Of course I am. That tank isn't going to fetch itself. It's nothing it's nothing so involved as extracting unprocessed ceruleum from a frozen lake like how that tappers to it. We're talking about a shallow pond in a park, and we have a way of warming ourselves up after. But that's insane. So fancy a dip? 
A little friendly competition might make things interesting. The last thing we need is you catching a cold. Step aside while I drink the pond dry. That will find in no time. Now, I like, I like playing around with Alice. How about a little friendly competition, Alice? The last one to find the cerulean tank is a rotten egg. Though I dare say we'll both smell like rotten eggs once it, when this is over. We're gonna help you get some ceruleum. So let's do this. Point of interest. Okay. Oh my god, my poor minion. I don't want you in this. You delve into the muck murky water, but come up empty-handed. To add injury to insult, the icy wind on your damp clothing chills you to the bone. Oh, I see. We're gonna get... Don't worry, we got this. We're gonna do this fast. We're gonna find it. You delve into the murky water, but come up... Okay, so... They keep saying that. Okay. Last spot. Beneath the water, your fingers catch on what you think might be a handle. and retrieve a ceruleum tank. Yes, I can see it clearly. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh, we're cold as heck! However, your grand discovery comes to great personal cost. As you become acutely aware of the freezing cold, it rants an odor emanating from every ill of your body. You also doubtless feel compelled to pinch his nose shut whenever you deliver him your prize. Listen. If it's gonna help those peoples, we'll take it, alright? This is what being the warrior of light involves. We gotta do stuff like this at times. We smell hor- oh god, he probably thinks I smell horribly. Oh, thanks, Roro. I did my very best. I smell horribly right now. See, you wanna give me a hug? You want a hug? Oh, she still gives me a hug, despite me smelling like probably rotten fish and other things. What does Alice even say? Y you f found it? <sighs> There must be another one around in here somewhere. Oh, Alice, say, I think we're good for now. Well, I mean, it'll be great to find another one. Did you find anything? Uh, I hope you did. That's it. And there's still some ceruleum left. Ah, oh, the fire's still not ready. Hold on, I'll give off another hand. He'll give Alpha not a hand. Call me an old dawn because because by fire I'm reborn, and my clothes are mostly dry now too. I appreciate you recovering the ceruleum, but I wish you'd taken the time to discuss the plan with me beforehand. Despite the way we've been treated in Lord Quintus's eyes, you're still NY's deserving of protection. If you were to die on my watch, he would be most most displeased. Your concern is duly noted, but all's well that ends well. Eulis, you mentioned coming here with coming here with your younger siblings. Did you grow up in Garlemald? I did, not far from here. My father was an accomplished researcher in his youth, and for his contributions to the Empire, ward an estate. We lived well, better than many. That was Garlemald like in those days. What was Garlemald like in those da those days? Everything. It was everything you could imagine. So much more. Even during the coldest winters, we always found warmth and comfort at home. Coming in from the snow, taking off your coat, and sitting down for a hot meal with family. Visiting friends and relatives, receiving th that same welcome. Knowing they had everything they needed. Walking down the street, seeing the lights in all houses, hearing the faint sounds of laughter and song of happiness. And although the summers came and went all too quickly, in that brief respite, the ice would melt and had forgotten the grass makes its triumphant return. Grey clouds gave away to blue skies, 
Some mornings we'd climb to the top of the tallest buildings we, where we could find the sun, find the watch to sunrise. Never again. Those rooftops are rumble, rubble, those friends dead, and those memories. But if I could reclaim even a fraction of what we once had. Soon our chance will come. We just need to hold it a little longer. Just like anyone else, he just wants to live happily. You can't like deny that like anyone would like to want to live with the roof over their heads, warm food, with some good company. I feel like at the everyone just desires that in the end, you know? Well, at least my clothes are finally dry, though they could still do with a proper wash. Owing to the wealth of experience I accrued in gathering firewood, I was even able to provide Eulis with some basic pointers on the subject. Thought I might help the further build a rapport and to distract him from his other concerns. You guys are good kids. I want y'all to know that. I love the twins. No good deed. Now that the fire has burned out, Eulis is ready to move on. Alright. Now that you recovered from your escapa escapades in the pond, there's another location I'd like to search. Just outside the park. Bazatai! Welcome, welcome! We're out here doing some side- or not side quests. The main story, of course. But very, very hard times right now. We're all in a quiet- kind of in a weird- I'm in a weird zone right now. But welcome, welcome, Bazatai. Hope you're doing well. We're trying our best to help out the people in Garlemald. Also, I kind of want my weapon out. And at the highest gear. There you go. I just kind of wanted it out on my back for some time. The raw machina appears to be patrolling the area of its own volition. I wonder whether it's simply following its original orders, or if it now serves the Telephoroi. Can war machina get, like... Can that happen to them? Everything was built on enormous scale, and with thick, cleanly cut stone, much like Amarat. Given what we now know, such similarities are no coincidence. True, very true point you brought up there. I mean, Emma did take the form of a Garlean, so... As you can see, this place is littered with the remnants of various types of war machina. While my comrades and I have already recovered the tanks from less damaged units, those that took more of a severe beating are harder to scavenge. We decided to, we decided to save those for another time, and that time being now. Rather than prize them apart piece by piece, it'd be quicker to remove the outer cas casing using compact explosives. With luck, we'll gain access to the tanks without rupturing them. Though the force generated by these devices is re relatively weak, I would advise you stand well clear to avoid being hit by, sh by a shrapnel. shrapnel. Even bothering, though, you should check the Machinus Ceruleum Gauge to see if there's any left. It should still provide an accurate reading even when the unit itself is inactive. If the gauge is broken, I'll let you decide whether to use explosive or not. Should you need more, come to me. Understood. Let's get to work. You okay? Use the first legion incident area 37 on the destroyed Magitek armor to receive Cerulean tank. Gotcha. That's a. Uh, those are some functioning. Hold on. It's a. It was in the way. Level 83. Okay, I'm, a, I'm 83, so I'm fine. Page hey, broken, giving you a way to determine how much fuel its tank may hold. Let's use it. After successfully removing the war machine's outer casing or trimming the cerulean tank, you find it to be completely empty. Ooh. Very, very bad. Okay, we'll try. Remove tr you find it to be complete. Oh god, they're both empty. Okay, it looks like I have to get some more bombs. Okay. So you have to like, I have to kind of like look into and see if I can make the call if it's good enough for me to get a tank or not. Okay. 
please have something. You treat the warm and cerulean tank to find. It's still half full, or half empty, depending on one's perspective. Either way, Eulis will surely be pleased on your discovery. Good, good, good. Very good. How does one- how do we scavenge this fuel? Use this bomb! What? Honestly, internally I was like, you know what, I'll just go with it because 14 logic, but like, I'm just like, yeah, I guess, you know what, whatever works, whatever works then. You've done it again. Truly luck is on your side. With this, we should be able to refuel quite a few of our heaters. It's time we headed back. Wait here a while I, uh, while I go see how see how Alice and Alpha are preparing. I wait. I will wait here. I'm a good cat. I wait here. Finally escape the watchful gaze of your keepers, have we? Dunkrid? Don't react. You'll only draw attention to yourself. Just carry on as you are and listen. How am I hearing you? After you left with the Garlean lad, Lucia bade a few of us scouts follow you at a discreet distance. Whoa, okay, so you guys were watching us. This is Dunkrid. <laughs> this is Dunkrid. We observed you being led into the station, but decided against venturing inside. When you emerged some time later, and we saw that the twins were sporting Magitech collars, it was clear what had taken place. Now, as quietly as you can, tell me everything. The Legatus himself, eh? Now there's a surprise. This is Thanker Day ASMR in my ears. This is also the first I've heard of a plan to join forces with the Tenth and storm the Tower of Babel. I will tell you everything and more. Choo! <laughs> I will- hold on, this is Thanker in my ear. I'll tell you everything and more. <laughs> All the Thanker fans must be getting a good treat from that, aren't they? An interesting development. And perhaps, the opportunity we've been waiting for. Our comrades back at the camp also received some rather promising news. But it's still too early to get our hopes up. For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. With luck, this will all be over soon. Until then. Until then. Luck is my middle name. They had not gone far. We searched high and low, but no luck, I'm afraid. I might have guessed you'd be the only one to find anything. I wasn't expecting much to begin with. Eventually, there will be nothing left out here for us to safely salvage. For now, this will have to suffice. We should return to the station. Ah, hmm. oh, there you are. Heard you'd gone hunting for Ceruleum above ground. First Legion soldier. Brought back a king's ransom? Hardly. But thanks to these three, we have enough to last a little while longer. Well, well. It's not at all as I was expecting, these ones. But for savages, they seem positively docile. I'm a savage. Ratchet, bougie. <laughs> I'm a savage. Ratchet, bougie. I forget the rest of the song, but you know what I'm saying. You don't call Alisane savage. Uh, oh. It's a poor attempt at humor. In all honesty, I'm grateful for your efforts. But even with another night of warmth, there are those among us who may not live to see the morrow. 
I know. I know. I trust your expedition was fruitful. Lord Quintus! Yeah, we got your stuff. Please get some heaters running. Use what you procured to refuel the armor. But, sir, what about the heaters for the camp? Wait, actually, I thought that's what you were gonna say. Wait, what? Heaters for people! Your people are dying, sir! The time for action is upon us. Oh my fucking <sighs> Oh Calm. Calm, calm, calm. Peace, peace, peace. Peace. My men and I have matters to discuss. In the meantime, you are to wait here. Do not forget, you are being watched. Bruh! You got the cerulean, we can finally get some heaters in here. What action? What are you gonna do right now? The time for action. What did he mean by that? Ex honestly, my, my question too, Alice. I can only speculate. Clearly something requiring their Magitech, given what we just heard. Whether they plan to utilize it now, or after they join with the 10th, is another question. This guy is like losing consciousness right there. There's a kid, freezing. Will they ever escape this cold? Return to and reclaim the idyllic spaces of which Eula spoke? Finished your war, Council? Ooh, some salt on there. Oh, Eula's. Alphino and Alizea are to stay here, as our prisoners. What the heck? They will be released once your comrades have relinquished their supplies and withdrawn from Garlean soil. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. Peace, peace, Luna, peace. I'm trying so hard, so hard for peace, but I'm about to, I'm about to Millie Rock. I'm about to really rock an old man right now, but peace. What the heck? Yulis, you don't even look happy saying that right now. You don't even look happy saying that. You know deep in your heart what you want, Yulis. I know you do. Until our terms are met, they will be detained at a separate location. You get your hands off them. I will go feral. After everything we've said and done, this is how you treat us. Our allies have but limited supplies. They may stave off cold and starvation for a short while, but what then? <gasps> no, you're shit. Don't do it. Don't do it. You, Eulis, don't do it. Eulis, don't do it. Eulis, don't do it. Eulis, come on, you- For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. Do everything will be alright. Have faith. Do as he says. No, I'll let them know they're, they're gonna be okay. They're gonna be scared. You guys are gonna be okay, alright? Get them out of here. I picked the first option. Both are fine at that moment. I was just thinking, I just like to like, sounded cool in my brain. I mean, I like I said, both are fine. Both are options. 
Uh, it would be cool. I just didn't want to be like, I, I could have went big sister mode and be like, do as he says. Euless. I know you have a heart, Euless. I know you do. I am worried for the kids, though. I am. <laughs> <sighs> Why? Why must th they do this to me? Euless, look at me. Look at me. Euless. Gosh, the twins are so precious. They're my faves. Of the of the 14 characters. I mean, I love everyone in the Scions. I love them all. But the twins are the way they built up their character from the beginning of ARR till now. It's just you feel like an older sibling to them, you know? You feel like a guardian to them. You know? It, that that kind of relationship just builds as you progress the story. Alpha and Alice say will be fine, providing they do not resist. No good deed. No good deed. Time to cry. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, Ragi, for always comforting me when I'm sobbing. But it's just cute how they hug in this game. Ale Lakta'e. I hope I'm reading that right. Ale Lakta'e. Once again, Euless has been entrusted with an un unaviable task. You will accompany me back to your camp. Where will I meet with your leader? I present Lord Quintus' demands. Before we depart, however, there is something I would ask of you. Assuming your contingent complies, the supplies they surrender will need to be transported here. The task falls to Legionnaires Marcellinus and Octavia who will pilot Magitech armor to your headquarters. You, t you are to inform them that we are leaving shortly. Tell them to ask the Isle for further details in those words. Once you've seen to that, meet me by the exit. Partition, lol. Not me to be partition for the search bar in the game, bye. It was, a, it was an attempt. It was an attempt, it's okay. So are you saying partition is the, are you saying what it's, is that what it translates to? Partition in search bar for a game. Partition. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, so I can't attune. Oh, wait, I'm leaving. Wait, what? Oh, it's outside, it's outside. Oh, this one's ain't. Oh, not Marcellinus, yes, they don't like me. You again. Ask the aisle, he said. <laughs> So that's to be the way of it. After all this... How ironic that you should be the one to deliver the news. If those are my orders, then so be it. For the, for the glory of Garlemald. What does Ask the Isle even mean? I don't even know what that means. Uh, maybe I missed something. Looks, looks like it's an order they gotta do. I don't even know what Ask the Isle mean. What do you want with me? Ask the Isle. Sir Lord Quintus has reached a decision. I knew he would understand. That he would recognize the savage as a ruthless, merciless creature. And to defeat him, we too must be uncompromising. I am ready. In the name of Emperor Varus, for the glory of Garlemald, I will fulfill my duty. I don't like this. Whatever's gonna happen, I'm not sure I'm gonna like it. Speak with Euless. I don't think I'm gonna like this, aren't I? Whatever this um, return to the Isle means. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Have you done as instructed? Their duties involve more than transportation of supplies, don't they? Don't they, Euless? Duty is rarely a simple thing. We have been given additional orders, though whether we will be required to follow them depends entirely on your contingent. You and I are in this together now, like it or not. We have to cooperate. There is one other matter, a place I'd like to visit on the way to, a ca to your camp. It's a short walk from here. Follow me. Where is it? Alright, we can get on our mount here. Where is Eulis taking us?
Give me a moment, please. Yus lingers by the ruins, reluctant to leave and reluctant to stay. Unable to move on. Wait here? Oh, what? Oh, come on, I was gonna- We were in the zone here. All right, let's go on ahead. We wait here. This is my home. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Home. I had a feeling that's where he was gonna take us to. I think Yulis is in a mood of lots of conflicting emotions right now, which I don't blame him. And when you're that conflicted, you'll end up wanting to come to one place that will calm you down. At least it was until that night. I was with Lord Quintus when the capital fell, and thus spared. My family, who did not own a radio, were less fortunate. When dawn came, I made my way here. My parents, my little brother and sister, they were still inside. But they weren't themselves, and they... They tried to... And I had to. That's so sad. I had promised to take them away from the capital that very morning, to somewhere safe, to hide until the fighting stopped. I promised. Garlean flag bears a chain, the bonds between our countrymen. A red link at its center, the blood of the fallen, our loved ones who lived and died for Garlemald. But if she too fell, who would be left to remember them and their sacrifice? What enduring proof would there be that they were ever here? If we had turned to your gods, would they have saved us? A very fair question because I frankly don't even believe in the one I'm following right now. Or don't even know, I can't even trust the one that I'm supposed to follow right now. Sorry, forget I spoke. We should go. <sighs> it's no use. Believe me, I do not enjoy being here any more than you. But she wanted us to play along, so that is what we will do. Look how he sits. Good boy sits. closer to her brother. That's cute. It's so cold. Aww. Painfully so. Unbearably. I've been thinking about what Quintus said. About why no one would accept Garlean rule. I'm sorry, I couldn't get over how she just kept inching closer. She's such a shy, shy baby. She's that far away, but then inch closer and closer to her brother. Irreconcilable differences. When coexistence isn't an option, 
only conquest remains. Varys at Gimlet said much the same. Only by uniting the world beneath a single standard would we rid ourselves of the Asians. United as one people, one race cleansed of imperfections. This is a, a mindset I feel like a lot of us know of. I guess the intentions behind it, behind this mindset, is not a bad thing bad intention, but the execution ends up always being in a strange way, in my opinion. A cold and unforgiving vision. And when we fail to live up to their standards, what place is there for us in their world? Fair point, yes. But the truly sad, truly frustrating thing is how damnably similar it all is to the lofty ideals of Father and the Forum. No, it kind of is, but I won't explain it here. Wait, what is? Like, what kind of is? To which part I said. <clears throat> non-intervention. Always non-intervention. Protect our knowledge and our people, and to hells with the rest of you. And yet, I can see how it happened. Varys and Father looked to their elders for guidance and took their virtues as their own. But for this world was of their making. In who else could they place their trust? Oh, I mean, opinions, opinions, of course. I'm just saying, like, I'm assuming, I, I just see the ideology, like the int intention is always like, the intention was probably good, is what I'm thinking right now. The intention of it was good for their pe what they wanted to do for their people and their society, but the execution ended up being in a way that doesn't- the execution is probably something I just don't agree with, is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> but that's all I know about, at least from the information I know right now. All of us lost in a sea of chaos. Searching desperately for purpose and meaning. But it shouldn't just be an extension of another's. It has to be ours. It has to be. We all have a stake in this world. No one should be silenced. Agreed. I won't deny that we lack the experience of people such as Father or Quintus. Mm-hmm. Perhaps they've come to see the world as a series of problems. And the most efficient way of solving them, to reduce everything to fundamental forms. A stone is a stone. A cloud, a cloud, a flower, no more than that. Simple descriptions that strip the subject of distinguishing characteristics. A man is a man, divided according to race, creed, or allegiance, and to some, defined by such associations. Is that what you think? In my misbegotten youth, but what I believed wisdom was no more than aggressive ignorance. Okay. I've since learned to look beyond the banners and the politics. To see people as individuals yes. with their own hopes and dreams. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Very as for well my dream said. Of building a better world. Well, every day I'm reminded that it is far more complex than I had ever imagined. Very well said, Alphanad. I very but much agree. it only agree. spurs me onward. To find the wisdom and the strength to see it through to the very end. Yeah, like clap for his speech. Very well said. All of our supplies and an immediate withdrawal. These are your conditions. Demands. And you forgot about the airship. Once again, you will leave one behind. It will be used to return the prisoners. Their collars will be removed prior to the exchange. So in the end, not even Father's expertly worded rhetoric could deter you from your chosen course. Huh? Oh? 
Not that I thought for a moment that it would. I've no love for violence, of course, but ours is a cause worth fighting for. I just wish he'd realize it too. Sometimes the only way to protect the ones you love is to take a stand, mm -hmm. to refuse to suffer in silence. Sometimes. I want you to know I share your conviction. Whether it be on the battlefield or in the debating chamber, I won't back down. I guess what I'm saying is... You've found your own reason to fight. We all are finding our own reason to fight on. I love this. Look at the emo. Are you crying, Spaghetti? I mean, it's an emotional moment. It's a, it's touching. They're in such a hard... hard. It's so hard to want to find peace sometimes. It is so hard. Yes. Yes, I have. God's willing, there will come a day when we can finally lay down our arms and there will be peace. Oh, they've... How far have they come? I'm... I will always say it. I'm always proud of them. I'm always proud of their growth. Their character growth. They have grown and are still growing. I know. Ugh. When Ann Walker ends, and if... If it... If Ann... When Ann Walker ends, and I know it will be the end of the Scions, and if we all have to go our separate ways at some point, and, uh... Alpha and Alice won't be next to us on our adventures anymore. I just know that I'm gonna miss it. Uh, I am gonna miss not seeing them by my side at times again. I will miss them very much, but I want to like wish them the best as they move on to their adventures or their journey, you know? Oh, I'm, I'm getting teary eyed saying I that. Defeated once and for all. I'm getting like so teary eyed just thinking about that. <laughs> I'm here for the emotions and the tears, Lil. I'm ready to get wrecked again. <laughs> I'm gonna get- I know I'm gonna get wrecked. I told everyone that I think I might start sobbing a lot through Endwalker. Too and many you, things. you, brother, will have a vital part to play. By your words and deeds, you'll lead the way. I pray I am up to the task. I know you are, Alphanod. You're always... There'll always be naysayers. Those who think us fools for even trying. It's easy for learned elites to criticize earnest efforts and assert their moral superiority, all without offering alternatives. Not that their sophistry has ever wounded you. So stubborn and strong. Stronger than you even know. Alice may be a shy butt at times, but she does care for her sibling. She does care a lot. Some, most of the time she'll like try not to show it through words, but her actions always shows that she cares. Don't ever but change, you hear me? If you stumble, I'll be there to catch you. Or give you a thick ear. Maybe both, for good measure. Aww. Thank you, Alize. the best. Oh. Oh! Well! The scouts have secured Alizé and Alfino. Their collars were removed without complication as well. They report no casualties. Not for their party, nor the guards, who will wake from their premature slumber in due course. Um, that's a Sinian, though. He probably knocked them out real good. It would appear the situation has changed. <laughs> oh, how the tables have turned, quoted by Lucia. How the turn the tables. I propose new terms. We have information that will be of great interest to Lord Quintus, and I wish to speak with him in person. No. In the event you rejected our first proposal, we came prepared with a second. Oh?
Oh, snap, you're... Ambush! More are coming, make ready! I like how they're missing every shot. We, the loyal soldiers of the First Legion, proud servants of Garlemald. Eulus, come on! Of the fallen Emperor Varys, shall safeguard these lands from the barbarian hordes until our countrymen return! Uh. Stop! Ooh. Both of you! Oh! <sighs> Arun! Oh, Arun! Okay! This child may be the worst emissary I've ever seen. Yo! <laughs> we received an urgent communication from the Grand Company of Eorzea. Envoys from the Imperial Army, led by members of the 10th Legion, came to Alamigo and requested an audience. They explained that their efforts to coordinate the reclamation of the capital with the aid of the 4th, 5th, 8th and 12th had ended in failure. Communication between most legions has broken down entirely. Most of the 10th's conscripts have deserted, leaving their forces severely depleted. Where are they even getting their orders from? What are they even doing then? That is why, unable to continue the fight on their own, they and their allies turn to the Grand Company of Eorzea for aid. Okay. Lies. Every word. Was that true? I actually did not it know about truth, this. truth, and I have not finished. The Tenth has requested that we deliver a message to Lord Quintus. Have the ill stand down. Oh. You have been listening, my lord. What... What are your orders? <sighs> we got him good, though. Inform her that we will honor the Tenth's decision. Yes! Yes! Old man King! of hope, and now dignity. Put away your pride, no one cares. We're gonna help your people. I release you from your duty. All of you. I take solace, your radiance, in the knowledge you are not here to witness our debasement. It was a grand, glorious dream we shared. Of a world united. Of peace and prosperity. Sir, we're not gonna take over Gar- Okay, you know what? You can whine about it. We're not gonna take over Garlem all. That's not our interest. You and I. Okay. Memories of days gone by. You know what? Have your moment, Quintus. You know what? Have your moment. Cry a little bit. Just, you can cry a little bit, Bonds just go for it. forged in blood that I will not see tarnished. Okay, you're about to do Wait! Oh! Oh no! Sir! Sir, please! Sir, don't, don't get hasty now! Sir! Sir, please don't get hasty now! Come on, come on, come on! No! No! Ay, ay. Quickly! We have to reach the station before it's too late. Well, you made your choice, sir, I guess. If there is still a chance that Quintus will agree to a truce, we must take it. I'm not okay with him doing that. I really am not. I always say every life is valued, but he's the one who- he obviously was very, very stuck on his pride, so he wanted to do that because... He, he could not bear himself to, like, join the enemy, you know? Take the help of the enemy, that's how much he- Similarly to the sisters, um, we saw earlier, 
Lucinia and her sister. Very well then. We gotta keep going- we gotta keep moving forward. We gotta keep trying to go forward to get that peace. Try to help uh, people who need it. The innocents who really need help right now. I just hope we get there before he and his men do something rash. This is the most blood I've seen in this game. I want y'all to know that. Garlemald's very harsh in comparison to the rest rest of the patches, rest of the MSQs I've ever seen in this game. Okay. Before we continue these MSQs, we are gonna take a quick little break. We took in so much so far. Yow chi. That was a lot to take in. Oh, God. I just had to... I just have to, like... God dang it! Sorry, I'm fixing my bangs, as always. But God dang it! That was just something. But I'm so happy we were able to save the twins. That we were able to stop any more blood slaughter with, the, with each other. We're gonna take a go. Like, we have plenty of time left for stream. We're gonna keep going for a while. But before we continue, we're gonna get, like, a quick water snack break. Make sure you guys stretch and everything. Excuse me. I, I just ate, like, a whole lot of, like, lace stacks before I got back over here. So, give me a quick second. Eulis. We will make no attempt to resist. Eulis. Eulis, I promise you. We don't- we don't want to take over, I swear. We just want to help your people, Eulis. I swear. Okay. So, no one else is here. Let me- um, before we go on, I want to talk to these guys, too. Lise, how are you? I've just returned from guarding the airships. Uh, now I've got to keep an eye on capture Imperials. Maybe a bit of chit-chat will help lighten the mood. Serena? When the Imperials charged upon us, we were able to avoid any serious injuries on either side. In truth, most of the Garleans were in no condition to fight. Sunken eyes, hollow cheeks. Must have been a long time since they had a decent meal. I am sure they'll be much more amenable in our conversation with food in their bellies. Sadu? It was a grave error to not post sentries farther from the camp. Have you seen the Garleans sooner? We could have slain them long before the truce was called. They engaged us of their own free will and deserve to die warriors' deaths. Even so, I have not forgotten why we are here. And I will slay, stay my hand for now. Thank you, Sadu, for not massacring random innocents. Thank you so much, Sadu. Magni, you're always like away from everyone. Even with the Empire in ruins, the Garleans have not lost the will to fight. That strength shall serve them in days to come. There is yet life in this cold soil. Pippin. Thank goodness the Tenth Legion decided to sue for peace when they did. We have been spared more senseless bloodshed, which is the last anyone including the first needs. From their perspective, though, the promise of reinforcements was their last hope. Now they have no choice but to cap capitulate the invaders, but we will prove to them that it is all not lost, and we yet stand a chance of casting out the Telefroy. Much and more has occurred since we last met. As for determining what comes next, we must speak with Lord Quintus. Um, about that. Ale Lacta A. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I tried my best. Strange bedfellows. With the immediate crisis averted, Lucia seeks to gain a clear understanding of the present situation. Before we proceed, tell me what you know of the First Legion and the dis disposition of their forces. They are very in unique indeed. They are preparing for war while the refugees in their care were left to go hungry. A reckless, short-sighted plan that risked the welfare of her people they were sworn to protect. Nevertheless, we cannot compel them to accept our aid. If we were to arrive in a force with intent to do so, we would only incite panic. But perhaps they could be persuaded to follow one of their own. Go with Eulis back to the station and have him lead the refugees here. Some may be unwilling or unable to leave, but for the time being, I'll take what I can- I can take all what I can get. Alphanon, Alice, and the scouts sent to extricate them so sh should already be at the station. 
I will also have our other comrade, uh, comrades in the area lend their support should it be needed. Understood. Okay. Oh, why couldn't we attune there? Alright, let's go. Also, yeah, time to get a stockpile of them. I honestly am tempted to do so. I'm a broke, a broco. I'm very broco, but I, uh, if it's for lay stacks, I will do anything. All right, let's go. Very far away. Oh, I haven't seen guacamole in a while. Oh, you're still hitting me. Okay. Y'all are like twins. So you got like the raspberry version of it, of his, of his coat. Oh, I did not expect you to arrive so soon. There's been, uh, development. Perhaps you had best see for yourself. Oh boy. I can't wait! What are you doing back here? Where are you, you listen to the others? Boy, I got news for you. Uyanje. Tis a comfort to see the, the none the worst of thy recent ordeals. Oh, these are okay. Random helpers. Anyone else I need to talk to? Okay, Alice. <clears throat> Lunella, and Eulis. We arrived just before you did, and too late. Too late for what? What's happened? It's Lord Quintus. He took his own life. After the news about the tenth, he relieved us of his duties. Then when he was alone, he... No. No, he wouldn't. Thanquid and the others, assisted by the soldiers, have seen to, seen to the re remains. In due course shall the legatus be afforded a proper burial. He released us from our duty. He wanted us to be free. Free to choose our own fate. Without him to guide us, where I... I have just the moment spoken with Lucia. We're ready to commence this transfer of the refugees here to Camp Broken Glass. Should they be willing to accept our aid? Some would rather die. But most of us just want to live. Songs and standards be damned, we just want to live. Thank you for putting your part aside and just saying that. You just want to live, that's it. That's what people want in the end. Just live. We need to speak refugees. They'll have to decide for themselves if they wish to come with us. If they would prefer to stay, we can have supplies brought over for them. It'll be a hard journey for the others, but we'll see they reach our camp safely. Good, good. I'm glad you're not planning on leaving them. At least something if they really choose to stray. Something to help them survive. I... I... It's hard, right? Suddenly having to pick your own fate. <clears throat> when you were following someone this for this long. Hey, so. Well, got the eighth right sword in the end. All it took was a few adjustments, and now it works as well as it ever did. From what I could tell, the one with the lettern, the Turum, is also functioning as normal. That's where you lot staying, isn't it? For the most of us are packing up and leaving this place. I reckon they'll be most, most more use for me and my skills over at your camp. Oh, and there he once was. Thunkred! Best not dwell on it. Not when this work be done. 
Why? Why? We have much to discuss. Our rescue, the attack on Camp Broken Glass, what we hope to talk about with the Quintus. But all that can wait. More urgent matters demand our attention. Are there any of the refugees willing to come to our camp? There are. Thank the Twelve. Thank the Twelve. You and I should go first and secure the route back to Camp Broken Glass. With all the creatures and tempering skulking about, I expect we'll have our hands full. We got a lot of work to do. This should come in handy. Conqueror's chain, courtesy of our Lamincian friends. I'd save it for the tempered, though. I'll mark a few points that would need surveying on your map. Once you take into the, rare, the care of the riffraff, we'll, meet, we'll make back at our camp. <laughs> I'm happy to see you okay, Alphanod. Pat, pat. I will stay with the refugees and do what I can to protect them. While I have no doubt that you and Thancred will do fine, a fine job clearing the path, we must ever be vigilant for the threats that may have slipped the, slipped the net. We should. He's still saying why. Estinian! Hey, and Desi you guys are both wearing similar- Oh, not the same exact armor. I think y'all both have the same face. Estinian. Y'all look very alike, I'm not gonna lie. Lord Quintus was a rock in the storm, and now we are, we are without a leader. Without direction. Nevertheless, we must live on. Even if that means consorting with our former enemies. Well, what do you want? Tell me about yourself. Oh, so that's who he was. Most garlics use Ellison models, so it's bound to happen. True, true. Alright, that's just a deer looking thing. With the zebra looking tail. That's one. There's like four of these. I I keep telling the battle music is so great. It's like I'm in like a little a little symphony. I feel like I'm out in a I'm waltzing in a ballroom when I hear this song. But like every time I'm like flipping and jumping around as a bard, I'm, I feel like I'm dancing while battling. Why are you- Hello? Is this a glitch? Did I break the game? I think I broke the game! What is this? Uh, what? What just happened? I can't- Oh, I have to wait! Okay, hold on. Sorry, sorry. There! There! There we are. Alright. Um, why are you still here? I was probably just gonna be here for a bit. Alright, I'm gonna go teleport over there. Are you pissed at your boyfriend? Ah, there you are. As expected, I ran into a few beasts who went down without much of a fight. The temper proved somewhat, of a tr somewhat troublesome, but those chains should keep them under control until our allies take them into custody. With that taken care of, I'm, I'm to gather a few supplies and then return to the station. While well, I see you too, though, would you mind apprising Lucia of her progress? As it happens, I have some rather per pertinent information about recent scouting forays, but I'll save that for later. First things first, all that. Why all numbered? Y'all are being silly. Okay. This way we go. Lucia. Ah, oh, Vanilla. I was informed of Quintus's suicide. It must have come as great shock to, this, to his men. 
What are the refugees? I'm told some are receptive to your proposal. But I would hear your first hand account. That's so many do we that so many did not hesitate to accept proves how desperate their situations become. We'll do our best to make them feel welcome. The troops who participate in the ambush are no, accept no exception. They'll be afforded the same treatment as any other refugees. Perfidy notwithstanding, after all, you would have wanted to make an example of them. There's no no one left to learn from it. <laughs> the only Lu I'm the only Lucy we need. There can only be one Lucy, apparently. <laughs> we will tell our allies that these soldiers were acting under the direct orders of the Legatus, and that following his suicide, they offered a full unconditional surrender. Perhaps Quintus thought that he had lived. He would be tried. He would be tried as a war criminal, and his men punished with him. Perhaps by taking his own life, he hoped to absolve them of any culpability. Or perhaps like too many others, he was a true believer to the end. I personally think it's the last option that he was just a true believer till the very end. Who can say? I didn't know the man or his heart. His reasons, noble or otherwise, died with him, and it falls on us to clean up the mess. Looks like this new gear will help me, um, get some higher gear for next, so I'll keep them in mind to, like, well, I'll wear them. Wait, let me wear whatever I can. In from the cold. Lucia has further news for you. I assume you're curious about what ma matters have progressed here in her absence. Quite well, as it happens. Now that we procured Cerulean from Tapper's Den, the recently repaired heaters could provide much needed warmth. Furthermore, we prepared sufficient food for everyone. Those from Tertium shall not find a hot meal waiting upon their arrival. There's one for you, so go on ahead and get some well-earned rest. I believe that we're capable of welding in la a ladle or two without your assistance. On, our, on your way, might I ask you to seek out Sushtola. She was but recently attending the wounded, but she's meant to be taking a rest herself. See that she is. Aw, Yushtola, you're working hard. Come, come, friend. You shouldn't work yourself too hard. Yes, yes. I have been taking proper breaks and imbi imbibing sufficient water. But what, the wo what of the warrior of light? You and the twins have been established history of reckless disregard for your own well-being. We're all fortunate that none of you landed yourselves in my care. I've already quite enough to deal with. Between the tempered and its first wounded. Alas, though I commend their bodies, the toll of their experiences have taken on their hearts and minds another matter altogether. For their sakes, we mustn't waver. N but nor must we rush ahead the eagerness to see the day one, and in so doing, it might disaster. Upon settling down for supper, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Well, you know what that means, you guys. It is recommended you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in entirety. Alright, you know what that means. Get a snack, get your water, get comfy, and I will get my chips back. Where did I put them here? Where did I put my chips? We're gonna have a restful supper. Why are they playing this song? Why this OST of all OSTs? God dang, this OST will get me crying! No, this OST gets me emotional! I get really emotional when I hear this one. I think I, this is one of the OSTs that will like get me like to tear up. Many more we can hold. Is that all of them? The last of those who agreed to join us, yes. We left heaters and provisions for those who wish to stay behind. They won't last forever, but hopefully they'll last long enough. Aww. For now, I think everyone's earned a rest. 
We'll see to those in need of medical attention, so take the others with you and get yourselves some hot soup. Eulas. How long has it been since you felt warmth like this, Seulis? How long has it been? Warmth. At last. Yo, I was on point with his feelings. I was on point. Ah, oh, I was on point with that. That's, I, that's probably what he was thinking. Marvelous, isn't it? I'm a little- I'm a little no brain's voice is a little funky, but... It's all right. All thanks to the resourceful machinists of Ishgard, I might add. On their behalf, I bid you warm yourself to your heart's content. Hold on. Your people might have scribbled a few things on a piece of parchment, but it was our Lamincen Smiths that put the bloody things together. Well, be that as it may, we single-handedly got the interior heating up and running again, didn't we? He's just a big old goofball. He is. He's- th that's why I nicknamed him the whatever I nicknamed him. He is- he's something. <laughs> His sticker's not the having it. Did. We would air every step of the way. Oh, Ishgardians. Oh, boy. We? You barely raised a finger to help, you ale-sodden reprobate. I did a damn sight more than you, you lily-livered bilge rat. Lily-livered bilge rat. I love it. I'm going to call people that from now on. Take that back. Make me. I will not stoop to your level. Here. At ease, man. There's nothing funny in it. I'm from Alamigo, but was a conscript until recently. Oh! Used to eat this with the officers. Oh my god! I just realized the importance of... of him offering a drink to him. I had to sit there and think about it. Oh my god, Garleans were invading Alamigo not too long ago. Not too long ago, Gallo uh, Garleans were like invading them and hurting them. And now he's offering a drink. Apparently, it's adapted from a step recipe. This is my first time trying it. And I have to say, it's not half bad. That's your Stola's voice actress, isn't it? I'm sorry, I know she's trying to make it sound different, but I'm like, that, that has to be your Stola's voice actress. Mmm. It's a bit too flavorful for my liking. Enjoy your spices, Ishgardian. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps compared to what you're used to. Tell him! The little things that make life worth living, don't you think? Oh, don't say that. I'm already a little emotional now. It is, though. <gasps> oh, when was it the last time he had a hot drink? And not worry about anything. Oh. 
I know this is not a dream, and yet... Yeah, this feels like it came true, right? <laughs> I mean, it is the reality, right? Surprisingly. I felt the same way at the Dragon Song War's end. Every morning, I would step outside and need to be reminded that it wasn't my imagination. That my world had been forever changed. And just as I had grown accustomed to the idea, again, you change my world in ways I never thought possible. Were it not for you and your fellow Scions, the rifts between man and dragon and myriad tribes might never have been bridged. The Grand Company of Eorzea, the Ilsebard Contingent, we owe it all to you. Gosh, that's so much on one little cat, huh? We've shed many tears in recent days of pain and sorrow, triumph and joy. I much prefer the latter. Yes, do I. No, I, I agree with her. I prefer the latter, too. I'm honored to fight by your side. As an Eorzean and Garlean both, I shall do all in my power to bring my peoples together. It is a remarkable achievement. Everything that I and the Popularis had hoped for, and more. Would that it had come sooner. Indeed. Too many are not here to see it. And yet, there is a warmth in my breast, as if they still share in this moment. Yes. I know what you mean. On a night like tonight, the wind and cold seem to pass me by. Blue hope? Peace? Peace! Blue is often a, a safe color. Blue is a color used to represent safety often. No, come on, just... No, wait, did we give everyone... No! Oh, please tell me we gave everyone a talisman. Oh, thank God, thank God. What's happening? No! No, 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 no! Emperor Varus? No, 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 please don't make him get tempered. Please don't. No! Please don't let him get tempered! He finally got peace! They are being tempered! The talismans! Quickly! Please don't let Eulis get tempered, please! No, 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 no! Please don't let him get tempered, please don't let him get tempered! Save me, brave hero! You! <clears throat> My lord has requested your presence, and I would hate to disappoint him. Roski, now is not the time! <sighs> Fan Daniel! Fan Daniel, you rat! Fan Daniel, you actual freaking rat! The experiment was a success, but I fear our time is short. I 
I shall begin the preparations. Preparations for what? Now, it is time for you to awaken. Um. Uh, what? Bro, we're, are we on a date with Xenos at a time like this? Xenos. Good morrow to you. Here, have a taste before it gets he cold. You even got a butler outfit on? Oh, but be sure to remove your helmet. Take a moment, too, to familiarize yourself with that borrowed flesh. B borrowed flesh? <gasps> hello, hello, hello? What, what borrowed flesh? No! Where's my body? So, how does it feel? I, for one, find those first moments within a new body to be most refreshing. We had a Magitech engineer by the name of Aulus to thank for this method of soul extraction and implantation. Aulus? I believe the two of you met briefly in Alamigo. I don't remember an Aulus. His was a rather sticky end, wasn't it? Thankfully, he was thoughtful enough to leave behind his mind jack technology. I took the liberty of making some improvements and selecting you as my esteemed test subject. Was he the purple haired scientist? Is that who that was? The purple haired scientist he like fought? Oh, he did do soul extra extraction. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay, okay. Give me back my body. This is such a pain in the arse. <laughs> I want to say both at the same time. But give me back my... Give me back my body. And permit you to go on a righteous rampage instead of partaking in this delicious meal? I think not. I must say, I have gone to great lengths to reunite you with my lord. When I discovered that his friend was in this neck of the woods, I suggested inviting you over for dinner. He never deigned to respond, but I took his silence as a resounding yes. I'm just laughing a bit in my head. I'm like, you know, we all had date with Emmerich in Heaven's Word. Now we're having date with Xenos. <laughs> and they're two different, uh, different styles of dates. Stalker much? I mean, Xenos is crazy. Come on, Xenos would. Man, Daniel, Man, Daniel's insane. What? Ma Mom, I'm scared. Come pick me up. I'm scared. Oh my! Daddy is pleased. His grumpy little boy has finally found uh. his playmate. <laughs> Daddy is pleased. No! Fan <laughs> <Man>, Daniel! <laughs> Sometimes you say the weirdest things. Ma, Raggy, come pick me up. I'm scared. Mom, Lucy, I'm also scared. Lucy could pick me up. I'm 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 a cat. I'm scared. Ah. Exposition is in order. I I'm, I have a Guardian friend. Guardian Empire has long outlawed all forms of religion. No gods to worship, no risk of summoning. Brilliantly simple. Hey Finn Daniel, who who's behind that? What friend am I going to get? But people being people must turn to something or someone in their hour of need. Who then? Who? Why, his radiance, the emperor, of course. Okay. As you have observed firsthand, Garlemald has seen better days. The legendary Solasos Galvis, dead. Provinces near and far, in open rebellion. Our bold new emperor assassinated. And that last one even sparked a civil war. What rotten luck. Okay, what about it? The people it? cried out for salvation. Their earnest pleas, one might even call them prayers, a supplication united for the empire to reclaim her former glory. What is this? And so their will did manifest, channeled through the corpse of none other than Emperor Varus himself. What, what am I looking at? And lo, 
The Savior was born. The embodiment of the Galian spirit. Their anima. Wait, no way, it's an anima! Is this the exact model for Final Fantasy X? It looks like the Final Fantasy X model. It legitimately looks like the Final Fantasy X model. It calls to its subjects, compelling them to take up arms and fight. Oh. And just as the wealth and power gravitate towards the Empire's capital, so too does Ether from every corner of the globe. The towers with which you and your allies have been so preoccupied were created as an extension of Anima itself. An ingenious design. Wait, doesn't that mean that we have to get rid of the Animas to officially get rid of the towers? We do not agree, my lord. Mans must be- Mans is enjoying his meal. Does the pursuit of prey you have bested before excite you? What? What's there to be excited about? Of course not. Absent the challenge, the thrill, your prize is a hollow victory. Butchery. I'm not trying to win. Oh, God dang it, it's not a... There's no winning and losing. Well, I, I don't know what you're trying to go for. But you're weird. Perhaps you think that to be the extent of my promise. I have no doubt fallen in your estimation since Alamigo. Uh-huh. Fair enough. But do not let your disdain deprive you, deprive us, of an opportunity to craft an even more majestic moment of euphoria. Xenos, I feel like you're always in your own world. I feel like every time you speak, Xenos, I feel like you're like in your own fantasy world whenever you're talking to me. What majestic moment of euphoria? Listen, you already had your bliss in Stormblood, all right? Then you cut- then you like straight up like sliced yourself after you got so- you got bliss so hard by me. <laughs> you were like, bye! Now you want something even more than that? You're so greedy. Man, you're causing so much trouble over this. I have been honing my craft as I set the stage for our reunion. You are even making it a fancy extra stage moment for us. Wonderful. Wheresoever there is suffering and despair, you appear to fulfill your duty as defender of this star. Yes, that's what I do. The chaos and destruction that my hordes have wrought are my gifts to you alone. What? The chaos my hordes have wrought are... No, 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 the... No, 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 no. All the suffering for your euphoria? Gifts? At a loss for words? No matter. As you will learn, I have only just begun. Oh, will you not finish your meal? Oh, he's incredibly selfish. His Maybelline palace is looking kind of gross. His, his palace is nasty, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, I'm angry. Like, I can feel like the wool is supposed to be very furious right now. He straight up just minimized all the suffering of these people to gifts for the wool. Like, I am just... How am I supposed to undertake that? <laughs> Gifts for the wool. Putting people through so much suffering. There is only one thing that can sate my hunger. And it would seem my friend has lost her appetite. Listen, I like food, but I am not I accepting. I this display of civility 
might prove an entertaining diversion. But clearly, we are above such pretensions. Like I said, I ain't gonna eat your food. I love food, but yours? No. I refuse. While my lifeless body was in the possession of the Asian, I too claimed another's as my own. What? It was an enlightening experience to fight in an unfamiliar form. Flaws and failings in my technique were plain to see. Whence rises one's true strength? The flesh? The soul? Perhaps you should like to discover the answer for yourself. I want to know what the heck you're talking about, frankly. It took another form. Excuse me. Excuse oh. me. Together. Your obsession with me is has gone far too No, your obsession with me is far too much. Get out of my body. Get 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 out. Get out. No. Dear, whatever would happen if my lord were to greet your friends as you? I shudder to imagine what carnage he would wreak. No! Oh my! I don't even know how to express my anger right now! He just took my cat girl's body! His Maybelline place. Uh, he made such a nice dinner for you, though. His steak was raw. Zero ten on Yelp, Luna! <laughs> Careful. Okay. Okay. We'd better hurry if we want to avert the bloodbath. You can thank me later for my generosity. No! You're a rat! What? I don't even know what's gonna happen now! <laughs> I had time to go kick my own ass. <laughs> A fight I never thought was ever gonna happen. How am I supposed to fight in this rando's body, ah, though? There it is. Your camp, I believe. If I were to hazard a guess, I would say that you, the other you, is making her way there as we speak. When Zeno said, when, when we said Zeno says her little meow meow, he took it too literally. <laughs> Xenos, I'm not your little meow meow. You can't become someone's meow meow. Give me my body back. Alas, this you will have to walk from here. Or run, if you can manage it. My lord would be cross if I made it too easy. Such ingratitude. I'd not squander this fighting chance. After all, you've obstacles enough to overcome. Right on cue. Y'all keep playing with me. Oh no! But I don't got a weapon or anything. They're all tempered! I feel like tempered I'm- Tempered soldiers. With standing orders to kill those not sworn to anima. Frick. Under normal circumstances, you would make short work of them. But on this occasion, the odds are not so heavily stacked in your favor. Fun. Very fun. Level sync is now in effect. Commence the battle in from the cold. Okay, okay. What do I have? I'm a uh, Rage Alone Combo. I have like the most basic attacks. I can't even rely on that right now. 
Where do I have to go? I have to go all the way down here. Come along. Is this fun for you? Oh, I have to go this way. Okay. I did. T I do play Pally or not Pally? Dark Knight. This is. Come on. Love this banger of a tune though. Agreed, agreed. I grab I need to stealth more. I don't I don't have time to fight. I need to stealth. No! I'm gonna die. I legitimately have no time to like fight. I need Not to Not bad at all. Given your diminished capacity. Nevertheless, it would perhaps be prudent to keep to the shadows. Scurrying about like a road. You're the rodent! You're literally a rat! Inspect the fallen. Inspect it! Let's carry medical kit. Perfect! Oh, we can't go this way? Okay. Oh, I see. I have to keep collecting things. Anything else on him? Okay. Uh, I literally don't know where- Where am I- can I leave this way? I don't want to waste time. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I can't jump up here. What in the- What? I don't think I'm going the right way, y'all. Wait, don't tell- don't help me, though. I legitimately just don't know where I'm supposed to be going right now. Hold on. Pay my respects. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's what I'm supposed to do? Oh my god! Okay. You're kidding me! I had to pay respect- I had to pay respects for the soldier this whole time! Now I took off like two whole minutes out of my time. Alright, we got this. I don't know how they didn't see me, but I'm not gonna, like, complain. I'm not gonna complain in the slightest to the fact that they didn't see me. Shoot, okay. <laughs> Stop is my middle name. <laughs> run, 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 run. Da -da -da. I don't know how y'all are not seeing me, but I'll take it. Okay. There's too many here. Oh, that's a no zombie, zombie, zombie. Okay, hold on. Magic Reaper. I had to go down this way. God dang, 20 minutes. <laughs> Stealth is my middle name. <laughs> Oh snap, there's so many of them here. Hold on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm not gonna go that way, hell no, but- Oh shoot! Oh, someone help! Wounded Imperial. Help! Oh, perfect! GG, Looney! GG! Heck yeah, let's do this! Wait, what? Insert it, but the event cannot be active without fuel! Okay, okay, gotcha. Fuel, 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 fuel. We'll need fuel. Where do we get fuel, though? Okay, I have 18 minutes. I can't go that, that way. There is no way I can go that way. No, you stay away from me, though. Fuel, though. Where will I get fuel? Okay, go around this way. Maybe there's fuel around here somewhere. Glory be to Garlemald. None of y'all are gonna have fuel. I'm not gonna risk going there. I gotta get fuel. Okay. Fuel, 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 fuel. I need fuel. I need fuel. Where? I don't know. I'm gonna try. Maybe he'll have some fuel. Shoot, there's two of them! No! I 
I was gonna attract two. Now I'm wasting my metal to kids. Stay away, stay away, come here. Stay, that, whatever that is, stay away. Okay. Okay, that's two soldiers down. I used my medical kits. Uh, wonderful. Where the heck am I going to get fuel right now while saving time? Those death claws? Am I, any of these? Hold on, any of these might have it, but I don't have my medical sh- ah! Any of them would have it. I can't risk- Oh, hold on. Come here. Because there's no way I'll survive this. Yeah, okay. Okay. At least I knew what I'll, like, I'll have more time when I start over this time. Okay. Let's try that again. Of course, skip all those cutscenes. Run that way! My time will be wasted. God dang it. Haha. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna get this magic tech. It will help us by a lot. Okay. So I need the key and the fuel. And I don't know where to get the fuel yet. That's the biggest thing. But I think I might be able to get it at, from one of the tech thingies. I'm just trying to get some magic tech fuel. I just keep finding medical kits. Fuel concealing wreckage! Fuel concealing wreckage! I'm- you have to walk all the way here to get that? Fuel remains, you should be able to remember to take care of each other location. Rotten loony! Where was it? This way, right? Okay. You're kidding, you have to come all the way here to find it? Got a little too excited there. No, both of them? This is wasting my time! And my med stuff. Oh my gosh. Please, please, I need it. Okay. Tank, 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 tank. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it. Let's do this. Why can't I move? Oh, okay. Requesting reinforcements? Wrong way, but I'll take it. Get him, Luna, wreck up their stuff up. I am... Holy... Intense, you guys. Can I, can I, okay. The spark breaker and get out of here. Get the heck out of here. How do we do this in such a short time? Ah, okay, okay. No! This is horrible! What? And why do I have to, okay, fine. I got, like, one. There's, like, two on me. I have one more medical kit left. There's no way I'll beat this one in time. Ah. Okay, 11 minutes. Please save me! Ah! You there, please help us! I'm dying! 
I'm legitimately dying. I have no... Who are these people, first of all? Wait, Imperial Citizen? Oh! Wait, I, I don't have healer. I I don't have many any medkits on me. I'll actually die if I don't have a medkit on me. <laughs> oh my god, I... You're one of us, right? We need your help. I know, but I'm dying! Do you have any healing stuffs that could greatly help me right now? Yes, can you give me one of those, Imperial Citizen? He cleaves, I'll die. Anything around me? He cleaves, he cleaves, he cleaves. He cleaves. Man cleaves, I will actually die. I'm not gonna, okay, hold on. I'll do it from the distance. Okay. <laughs> we have to get back to shelter. Sir, I don't have- Sir, my HP! Good sir, I need help! No! It's over! That's it, I don't know what I- You healed me? Thank you! Thank you for healing me! Oh, thank you so much for healing me. Oh, dang it. Shoot! There's no way I'll survive this! I didn't collect enough of those medical- Okay, well... It's going to explode, get behind the armor? I don't know how I'm alive right now. I want you to, I want to be very honest. I have no idea how I'm alive right now. <laughs> I'm alive. Wait. I have this much life left. This much. I couldn't even process what was going on. I was in so much panic. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I, I, I think that's enough 14 for the day, everyone. I, I crawl safety! Even more. Let's crawl. We're gonna crawl. With the last of your strength. I crawl. Can I make it there? I don't know. I, I just keep crawling. I got like seven minutes left. I can make it there, right? Almost there. We're so close. Oh, there you go. Get faster. Get faster, Looney! Get faster! We can make it, we can make it. Seven minutes. It's doable. It's not impossible. We can go all the way down there, right? It is a miracle we were able to restrain the Tempered without suffering casualties. A welcome one. Arun, Senna, and the others have their hands full as it is. Thankfully, there are enough scales for everyone. Um, and what of Eulus? His symptoms were particularly severe. I really hope Eulus is okay. They were, but others fared still worse, including some brought back from the Magna Glacius. As those in most desperate need take priority, it may be a while before he receives treatment. No. But rest assured that he will. In the meantime, we must find our missing friend. May the fury guide you. How are they gonna? F I, I'm I'm worried. I'm concerned. Oh. 
Of all the bloody times for a disappearing act. Right when the first wave struck, we'd be fools to think it a coincidence. But where even to begin the search? No one saw her leave in the chaos, and we've no trail to follow. While I know full well she can handle herself, I worry all the same. Ah, speak of the devil. No, it's an actual devil, though. No, 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 it's, it's not me. Well, time to call off the search. No, please keep looking for me, please. I'm crawling. <laughs> Case closed. Before we continue, the last portion of that run of the solo, I was just so panicked that I couldn't process the fact that there's some non-tempered gar Garleans there fighting. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> I was this close. This close. <laughs> I had HAP left on me. And I was just, I'm glad we made it. I'm glad we made it through. <laughs> And no, Thancred, it is not the case closed. That's her, over there. Oh, Yashtola ain't seeing it. Yashtola, you know me. You know it's me. Come on, you know right, who I am. It would appear so. Thou art struggling to perceive her presence. I am. Perhaps in the aftermath of the wave, there is some residual effect interfering with my faculties. No, Yashtola, go with your gut. Go with your gut, Yashtola. You know who I am. It's not me. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Uh, now, now. All's well that ends well. Are you all right? Don't you dare beam with... Are you all right? Huh? Mm. Who are you? How do they know? We made it! We made it! Enough, Xenos. Get away from them, you bastard. Oh, I can start to cuss them out! No, we're gonna cuss them out! Get away from me, you bastard! Oh, snap! Sadly, that is all we have time for today. The effect has run its course, and back to your own bodies you must go. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank God. Give me my body back. But where are my manners? We have all traveled so very far, and I have yet to pay my respects. Though in my defense, I was ill-prepared to receive so many uninvited guests. As such, preliminary entertainments were in order. A handful of tempered soldiers to hamper your progress. Refugees to command your attention while I siphon the ceruleum from the shadows. Particularly effective. Charitable souls that you are, you bent over backwards to aid them, heedless of the delay, predictable to a fault, and so my plan approaches completion unhindered. Anima will soon have absorbed the requisite amount of ether, and then shall come the spectacle to end all spectacles. The eldest, and most powerful of primals will awaken, and all shall bear witness to the final days! Oh, why, you rat! 
Looney, put on my poor Looney. It's kind of weird looking at myself, I'm not gonna lie. Xenos. The gods themselves will be my meal. Your dear companions, my dessert. Upon this world I'll feast, and death shall follow in my wake. All your hate, all your rage, you will render unto me. What now? For upon thy life's real wind too many threads of fate, power, wheel enmeshed with woe. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. Those are the last words he told us before we left Radzahan. Thank goodness. She's awake. I'm back in my body. Is everyone all right? I hope everyone else is all right. Is everyone all right? Perfectly fine, yes. I hope the same can be said of you. I almost died. I felt that was the most like tense. I actually felt like I was almost dying. I love that. It was great. Amazing. Everything in working order. All good to go. That's a relief. Oh, and before I forget, thanks for coming to our rescue. Given recent events, I would be surprised if you weren't feeling a bit poorly. Homies for life. They know because they're your squad. Homies no homies. Homies always no homies. A hearty meal and a long rest would be my recommendation under normal circumstances, but these are anything but. If Van Daniel's boasts are to be believed, we must act quickly. Once you've blown away the cobwebs, we can discuss preparations for our assault on the Tower of Babel. Tower of Babel. That whole cutscene was intense. Alright. I think we'll be finishing up the MSQ here. For the night. You stood in your well. Nothing out of place. No missing bits. Good. They won't promise the same for Fan Daniel and Xenos after I'm through with them. How much, mu how much must these people suffer before they're satisfied? How many cruel, pointless tricks must they play? Prelude to the final days or no. This ends now. That was the most intense cutscene solo sesh I've ever went through and I freaking loved it. I loved that so much. Good place to start. Thank you for adventuring. Thank you for joining me on my adventure. Thank you to all of you for joining me on my Endwalker journey and my adventure. I appreciate it so, so much. This run was amazing. Freaking good. That was everything about it was an amazing, amazing run. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Love that cutscene and I hope to see more. I, I keep saying at the end of my videos, but I think this might surpass Shadowbringers for me. So I am looking forward to more and Walker. But yes, as always, whatever it is for you, day or night, make sure to drink your water, take care, and bye bye!
Thank you.